Welcome back. We're celebrating Dad on City Line today and ahead of Father's Day this weekend. So I wanted to bring in all of our guest experts who are dads themselves to ask them, what did you learn from your dad that you've passed on, or maybe not, to your own kids? So it could be words of wisdom, could be best advice, could be bad advice. I don't know. I'll take it all. I'm going to start with uh, <laughs> Dave Kenny. Dave, what have you learned from your dad and maybe passed on to your kids? So my dad has taught me many things, especially within the building world. Um, but one thing that I've taken to heart the most, especially as I get older, is just the compassion and empathy for others that he taught me. Um, it, for anybody who knows my dad, he has the best hug in the world. And I think he's definitely passed that on to me. And I just want to be able to pass that amazing healing hug onto all of my kids as well. That's beautiful. And you should never underestimate the power of a good hugger. Okay, let's take it over to Brent Bishop. <laughs> Brent, um, I love seeing you and your son together. You guys are so tight. Any advice that you've gotten from your dad that you've passed on? Yeah, Tracy, I mean, if, if I was to think right off the spot, um, work ethic. My dad was, you know, he's retired now, but his relentless work ethic. Um, he, you know, he was a specialist in internal medicine in a small, small city that I grew up in. And, uh, you know, he was on call all the time, had to get up in the middle of the night for emergencies. And he's always, uh, but he's always been there as well. So work ethic, I'm a hard worker. I may not outsmart you, but I will outwork you. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Pass that on to your son. Because if you can be consistently oh, yeah. working towards something, screw talent. It's about the work ethic. I love that, B. Okay, over to Mr. Randy Feltis. Uh, tell me what you have learned from your pops that you've passed on to cash. Oh, my stars, Tracy. There's so much. But the one thing that has always stuck with me, um, I was working for my dad's construction company. And this was probably when I was like 15, 16. And he says to me, Trace, he goes, Randy, you're smart. You can go out in this world and you can do anything in this world. I believe in you. But if you fail, the construction company will always be here waiting for you. Now, at the time, I think he was saying that as like a compliment, but I took it as a threat. So I knew I had to go out there and be successful at whatever I had to do because I did not want to go back and work construction. So I would like to do the same to my son and tell him the restaurant will always be here. That's a threat, Cash. Take that as a threat. Go get an education and do something. <laughs> that is so good. I love it. He's like, this is your fallback plan. And you're like, that's never going to happen. So I will be successful. <laughs> so good. OK, Frankie, um, you're so tight with your dad. You're so tight with your boys. Have you gotten advice from your dad that you've passed down to Matheson and Gavin? Well, as they get older, there's more advice that will come along the way. Uh, there's so many different lessons. Work ethics, of course. My father's really hard worker. Resiliency is really about him as well. You know, went from Italy to England, England to Canada, worked in the Hall of Marsh and built a business alongside of his family. But probably the best advice he ever gave me was, Frank, reminder, remember this always. The toes that you step on today could be connected to the butt you got to kiss tomorrow, so don't step on any toes. <laughs> 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 don't burn those bridges oh dad's a genius i love it frankie yes. here's mine my dad yeah. many many uh different lessons definitely with work ethic for sure but i would say the one thing he told me in high school is i would get freaked out right after or before an exam and everyone would be talking about the right answers and i'd start second guessing myself and when I told my dad that, he said, uh, he goes, don't talk to anyone before the exam. He goes, don't talk to anyone after the exam. You have to focus and drown out all the noise. When you start getting, when you start getting surrounded by noise, it'll drag you out of your spot and you don't need it.